Welcome to McDaniel College. I'm here today with uh, the new baseball coach, Jim Carone. How are you doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Good, good. Uh, let's start off. Uh, when did you start playing baseball and uh, where are you from? Uh, originally from Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, which right. is down the New Jersey shore. Um, started playing baseball probably before I can remember, maybe four or five years old. Um, went to high school down at Point Pleasant Beach and then um, played collegially at Monmouth University. All right, all right. And uh, at Monmouth, you were a pitcher. Uh, what's your favorite memory from playing there? Um, a lot of memories. Favorite memory, competing for championships every year. You know, we always finished first or second place in the regular season. Um, so, you know, being one of the better programs in, in the Northeast Conference. Um, but more than anything, just the relationships with, with the teammates. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the guys that, that we went to war with and played with, you know, every day. Um, you know, eating in the dining hall with and competed yeah. out on the field. Um, those are still some of my best friends to this day. So oh, that's, gotcha, that's the biggest gotcha. Um, and once your playing career is over, what made you want to get into coaching? Um, I had a really good coach in college, and um, you know, I remember you know a day, <clears throat> everybody's senior year in the fall, he would you know you had individual meetings, and mm -hmm. he would ask everybody what they wanted to do once they graduated, and he asked me, I said I want to be a baseball coach, and he okay. kind of laughed and said, why would you want to do that? And I said, well, I think you have the best job in the world. And he looked <laughs> at me and he said, yeah, you think so, don't you? <laughs> but uh, but no, I mean he was Coach E. Hall at Monmouth was was a big mentor of mine, still is to this day. But just being able to have an impact on the student athletes. You know, on the baseball field, but be able to have an impact in their life off the field as well and help them grow and develop. It's the biggest reason. Gotcha. And speaking to that, um, you were the head coach at Wagner, racking up over 200 wins. Um, what do you What do you think was um, the what What do you think attributed to that success at, at Wagner? I think the success we had, I and mean, we had some outstanding assistant coaches. You know, some of them are, are top assistant coaches now at, at some really good programs, um, and some are head coaches now. So we had good assistant coaches. We recruited some some pretty solid players, but it's all about the student athletes and. You know, those guys, the players that we had um, there, you know, we created a culture. Um, those guys, you know, fulfilled that and, and uh, through our player development program that we instilled in them. Um, you know, we had six guys that, that played professionally, two of them that made it to major leagues, you know, which was pretty cool. So, um, you know, I think I think it's, it's, all about, it's all about the players. All right, gotcha. Um, speaking to that, um, when, you're, when you're building a program here, do you look for a specific, whether it's skill, athleticism, ability, character, what do you look for in a player when you're recruiting them? Well, I think obviously they, they, they need to be a, a solid baseball player, yeah. right? And, and a, the academic profile has to match um, McDaniel College as well. But, you know, first and foremost is the character of the student athletes. And, you know, we try to get as much information you know, from high school coaches, from opposing coaches, from Absolutely. Um, from all different different resources that we can, just to kind of kind of see what they're like, you know, on and off the baseball field. Make sure they're a good fit for what we're doing here. Um, we want we want them to be great teammates as well. All right, what what appealed to you about the opening year at McDaniel? Um, I just I think the campus sells itself. You know, academically the school is really solid, uh, beautiful on campus. You know, baseball facility. Um, you walk around campus, all the buildings. Um, you know the the um, the classrooms, everything's really solid. Um, but then when I got to got a chance to meet, you know, the other head coaches and, and support staff and the new administration, I mean, all those values aligned with with what I was looking for, and, and everything just worked out, thankfully. Perfect, perfect. Um, and uh, speaking to that, what uh, with your coaching staff, what do you think has changed over the years since uh, since you first started? I think being able to adapt and change is the answer yeah, to that question. Gotcha. You know, I think. You know, when you're a young coach, you think you know everything, and you think you're supposed to know everything. And then once you get a little bit older and have more experience, you understand that um, that you don't, and that's okay. You know, and I think that uh, you know, I, I learn from our players on a daily basis, and, and I learn a ton from them. Um, I learn more from them, I think, than, than anyone else. And I think that's the biggest thing that's changed over the last you know 17 or 18 years of doing this is gotcha. being able to adapt uh, your coaching style to you know, maybe a new generation of, of student athletes, you yeah. know, and, and what makes those guys tick. Um, but also being able to, to, you know, change change what we're doing, you know, hold on to what works. And if we have to tweak some things, tweak some things. Gotcha. But, gotcha. And what uh, what is your goal over the next few years here at McDaniel? Well, I think right now, I mean, we're just trying to be the best team that we can be on a daily basis. So okay. once we, uh, you know, once we get to, you know, our preseason practice, we're going to be the most fundamentally sound team we can be by the time we play our first game at the end of February. And when we play those non-conference games, we're going to be as fundamentally sound as we can, and we're going to compete every single day and, and try to be a little bit better every day. And then once we get into the conference, the centennial conference schedule um, at the beginning of April, um, you know, our goal is to play postseason baseball. Yeah, you know, absolutely. That's, that's what we're doing this for every day right now. Um, you know, we're working hard, and, and we strive to play postseason baseball um, come the end of the spring. 
Um, and once we're able to play postseason baseball, then we'll set our set our sights on winning a championship. All right, all right. Well, thank you for uh, for the time, coach. And as the season draws near, we uh, we do wish him well. Thank you very much. Thank you.